partition is a way of taking a set and splitting it up into different parts. An ordered partition will be a partition where we're taking the elements of our set and we're breaking them up into different groups of different sizes, and the different groups are actually different from each other. The number of ways we can break our set up into these different groups is called the multinomial coefficient, and this is how it looks right here. The formula for it is going to just be the multiplication and division of all the factorials, n factorial over n1 factorial, n2 factorial, all the way up to nr factorial. To give you an idea of where we use this, seven people are going to be awarded cash prizes. Two are going to receive 25, three get 10, and two more will get five. How many ways can I award the prizes to these people? Because it matters which group a person ends up in, we're going to use an ordered partition. Seven people, two, three, and two will be the number of people that go into each of the groups. So the number of ways I can do it is just this multinomial coefficient, seven factorial over two factorial times three factorial times two factorial. Writing it out, you get these products here, and simplifying, canceling the like terms, we get seven times five times three times two, which is just 210. So there are 210 different ways of breaking up the seven people into the smaller groups. Pictorially what's happening is we're taking our seven people and we're trying to split them up into smaller sets. And we found there are 210 different ways of doing this. An unordered partition will be a partition where the groups themselves are essentially the same. These are a little bit tougher to deal with, so we're only going to look at unordered partitions where the groups are going to be the same size. So n objects, we have n is equal to m times r, and what we're going to do is split the objects into m groups, each of size r. This is why n has to be the product of the two numbers. The groups act the same, so they're all essentially the same, same size, and they look the same as each other. The number of ways we can do this is just 1 over m factorial times n factorial over r factorial raised to the m power. This might look a little bit more confusing, but all this last term here is, is the multinomial coefficient. This is n, and we're breaking it up into m groups of r. So n choose r, 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 r. Let's say a teacher wants to split her class of 24 students into six groups of four. How many ways can she do this? This is going to be an unordered partition because it doesn't matter what group a person actually ends up in. So we have 24 people, we want six groups of four, the way to figure out how many ways we can do this is we look to see what the n, the m, and the r are. n is the number of people total, m is the number of groups, r is the size of the groups. So it's 1 over the number of groups factorial times the multinomial coefficient 24 choose 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Taking our 24 people and splitting them up into groups of 4. In terms of factorials, this is 1 over 6 factorial times 24 factorial divided by 4 factorial 4 factorial, 4 factorial, 6 times. So 4 factorial to the 6th. And this is a really large number. 